has changed with food banks this year. The ducks didn't float down the river for the Free Store Food Bank's annual regatta, but the Free Store did sell a record 200,000 of them this year, and that will cover millions of meals for hungry children. CEO Kurt Reiber talked with the Courier's Chris Wetterick about offering hope in a hungry world. Kurt, thanks for joining us today. Um, you guys have been affected by the pandemic uh, probably as much as if not more than uh, anybody. Uh, back in April, we were talking to you about the supply of food at the free store and that uh, you guys were down to about three, work, three weeks worth of food. Can you tell us a little bit about the status of things uh, with your supplies today? Well, obviously, the number of families that have been coming in have uh, continued to expand. Uh, we're seeing a number of families that have been impacted by the furloughs, layoffs, and the business closures. Uh, currently, right now, we have about five to six weeks of food uh, based on our current food distribution, which is about a million pounds of food every week. Uh, our biggest challenge right now, quite honestly, is that about half the food that we distribute is perishable food. So when you think about it, our refrigeration and freezer capacity has really been outstretched. And that's one reason why we've launched a capital campaign called Growing Beyond Hunger. And that's way, that is a way for us to expand our refrigeration and freezer capacity, truly meet the needs of, of the families right here that we're serving in the tri-state area because there's about 270,000 individuals that are dealing with food insecurity, about 80,000 of those are kids. Great. So tell me a little bit more about how you're keeping up with the increase in demand and, and what that has looked like and, and, and how much of it stems from the economic downturn that has accompanied the COVID-19 pandemic. Well, you have to understand that before the pandemic, one in seven of our neighbors were dealing with food insecurity. One in four of those were kids. And you know, when we talk about uh, schools not being open, 80, eight out of 10 kids in the 20 counties served by the Free Store Food Bank are eligible for free and reduced lunches. So when they're not in school, uh, they're not receiving the food that they need. We have actually received a tremendous outpouring of support uh, from our community. Uh, the Family Foundations, uh, Greater Cincinnati Foundation, United Way have always rallied behind the Free Store Food Bank in this time of, uh, of dramatic need. Uh, we've also received phenomenal impact from our national office in Feed in America. Uh, we've got that in terms of financial support as well as in-kind support. And we've also shared some best practices for dealing with this pandemic of our, with our sister food banks across the country. Um, you know, our team really knows that we're not in a, we're in a marathon here. This is not a sprint. Uh, we know that we have to plan out for the next 24 months or so, and that's what we've done. Uh, we've been able to take some of the resources that we've received and steward them very graciously and, and generously so that we can meet the needs of the families that we're serving, as well as uh, build up the capacity of our 600-plus pantry partners uh, that are serving the tri-state area. Great. And then lastly, can you talk to me about any other special challenges that exist out there uh, that COVID-19 has brought to the Free Store Food Bank? Absolutely. When you think about the Free Store Food Bank, we have 120 amazing team members that are on the front line of hunger each and every day. However, without the volunteer support that we receive, uh, we can't do the work that we need to do. We have over 13,250 volunteers that have been providing us 100,000 hours of volunteer service uh, throughout the years. We've asked them to stay home. Fortunately, however, Governor DeWine and Major General Harris, who is the commander of the Ohio National Guard, has deployed 70 guard men and women to the Free Store Food Bank and our Mayerson Distribution Center and our Customer Connection Center and over the Rhine, and they've helped fill the gap of our missing volunteers. Now, we know that those, those guardsmen and women are not going to be here forever. Uh, in fact, they're starting to draw down their deployment uh, as we speak. So we're encouraging folks right now to go to our website, freestorefoodbank.org, and click on the Volunteer Now button because we can use those volunteers to come back. We are complying with all CDC guidelines, and we're keeping a very safe and sanitary work, for, uh, work area for all of our volunteers as well as our staff. But being able to fill that gap for our volunteers is really a critical need right now for the free store. When you think about it, trying to get a million pounds of food out each and every week is really a demanding undertaking. So we can't do that without the National Guard being present. But if we can backfill that now with our wonderful volunteers, that would be an incredible resource for us. Kurt Reiber, C CEO of the Free Store Food Bank, thank you for being with us. It's great to be with you as always.